Good afternoon, hello, and welcome, guys, to my first video in quite a long time. It's just because I didn't really have any ideas, and um, I'm trying to come out now as a revamp channel, just do Intel reviews and kind of just some more random stuff. Um, so let's just get into this video, which is um, my thoughts on the Ubisoft announcements at E3. So recently, as you may or may not know, E3 has been going on where some of the major game developers have gotten to stage and kind of announced their plans for the next year. Thank you, guys. So let's get on to the uh, first announcement. I've kind of put them in order of relevance to me. Um, so let's get into the first one. Number one, Trials of the Blood Dragon. So um, Ubisoft haven't. This is. Um, I'm going to take them from various websites, by the way. Um, so Ubisoft have announced um, uh, Trials of the Blood Dragon um, at E3. Um, and to me, what it just looks like is, um, it looks like Trials Fusion. It really does. It looks like Trials Fusion meets, um, Blood Dra um, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. And, wow, great. Um, I was gonna wait for that. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's not much to talk or tell about this. Um, I don't realize how this is gonna work. Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, as you know, is, um, is kind of an, another game of Far Cry 3, where it's kind of like neon -y stuff. I don't really, know how to, don't really know how to explain it. But what I can tell you is that it doesn't really mix with a bike game. So I don't understand how that's working. Um, it's it's kind of looks like it's got a bit of a storyline around it with um you see here Sergeant Rex Power Cult. I never played uh, really Trust Fusion or Blood Dragon. So um again, I don't understand how this is gonna work. But um this doesn't really apply to me, so on to the next one. Number two, Just Dance 2017. Again, I don't really care about this game. Just Dance is a franchise I've never really cared that much about, so it to me is just they've replaced the number. I'm sure it'll be great um, to people who enjoy Just Dance franchise. One major part of it that it's going to be including the Nintendo NX, which is going to be uh, a little bit different with Don't Stop Me Now and the demo, which I personally think is a great song, but that doesn't really change it. Um, so yeah, um, that's just another one of their announcements, so we can move on because I don't really care about it that much. Number three, Ubisoft South Park: The Fractured But Whole. So this is a new, um, I guess, South Park sequel. Um, so the South Park: Fractured But Whole is um, the sequel to the South Park: Stick of Truth. Now, from what I know, the um, South Park: Stick of Truth um, was very successful, um, and Singers obviously South Park was a um, Singers South Park was a, um, a very popular TV show. Then I know this franchise will do very, very well. Um, sequel to the Secret Truth, like I said, lots of people are going to play it. I've never watched South Park and didn't play the first game, so this is this features very low down my relevance list. But um, looks like a pretty good game if I enjoyed that kind of stuff. But I don't. This is kind of the official website. Looks like quite cool. I think it's to do with some um, something to do with uh, villains and uh, villains and heroes, darker magic. I don't actually know, but that's what I can gather from the very little I've seen of it. Uh, so, on to the next one. Thank you for listening to this one. Number four, For Honor. Now, they announced this yesterday and I didn't actually know what it was. Um, but from what, I, uh, from what I can tell, this has been a thing for quite a while now. Um, I don't know, really. I don't actually know if it's been a while or not um, for it to be announced. I think some people might have been expecting it, but I don't actually know. Um, to me, it looks like some sort of third person, as it says here, third person melee fighting game. Speed strategy and team play. It just seems like a um, another strategy game, but with um, a more uh, involved element, maybe, which uh, sounds qu maybe quite unique. And um, it looks pretty polished for just I, I mean, from the graphics, which you can't really tell, but um, it looks good. The innovative art of battle system. That sounds like a kind of um, not a game engine, but a kind of something they might have like kind of copyrighted as kind of like a phrase of their own. It looks kind of good. Um, probably won't be buying it though, to be honest, I'm not really in for a strategy game, so that kind of quite laid down my list as well. Now for number five, we have, um, Grow Up. Now I couldn't actually find much of this online, but, um, what I have, um, sat down is found this website, which is like not a lot at all, but from what I can gather, uh, Grow Up is a sequel to Grow Home, like, like it says here. Um, now I never played Grow Home, but, um, I've, well, I watched quite a lot of it online. And it looks really good. I really quite enjoyed the mechanics. I really enjoyed like the f like um, the falling system and like, the climbing system. It looked really good. I quite enjoyed watching it, even if I didn't play it myself. So I imagine grow. Um, I hope. I really hope grow up. Um, kind of works. 
um, and is just as good as the first one. So, you know, I might consider getting it if it looks really good on release. But, you know, fingers crossed for that one. That looks good. good. Now, and I think this is number six, I can't actually remember. But number six is Steam. Right now, really, really impressed with this game. Really love the look of this. This is this is um looks like this is the official website for the moment. I've already signed up for this beta because I really can't wait for this. Um, hopefully I'll get picked for the beta. Te it's technically a closed beta, but um, I really want this game. I really hope it runs on my computer. I'll be bringing out a um, uh, review video of it when I do if I do get the beta. Um, Steep is um looks like um from the trailer I saw yesterday. Um, like an open world kind of snowball mountain game. It looks like you get to explore the mountains, um, one of four modes of transport. Um, you get to wingsuit, um, paraglide, snowboard or ski, I presume um, it looks like. And it looks like you can kind of interchange um, throughout like wherever you are. Um, it looks really good, it's kind of multiplayer. There's um, quite a heavy focus on uh, replay system, uh, the multiplayer system and sharing your moments on like Facebook or whatever. I really hope this is good. I really want this to be good. I really want it to run on my computer. I will be maybe getting this when it comes out. Um, it looks kind of like, like, um, I don't even know how you describe it. Just Cause meets, I don't even know. Just Cause meets like kind of maybe a snowboarding game like SSX. It looks like that. It looks really good though. Graphics look insane. It's probably just a makeover they gave it for the trailer, but hopefully it's as good as it looks. It looks Getting down to the last two now, number seven is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Right, this looks really impressive. Um, the Tom Clancy um, franchise is really good in general. This looks similar, but completely unique in the franchise uh, itself. This is um, uh, a game where it's open world, actually, which is really impressive. Um, I love open world games. I love pretty much all open world games. Um, uh, so you still have to take over... I say still. You have to take over, um, like, um, bases... Or, and you have to extract people and stuff like that, but um, you do it at your own pace when you want to, and it's completely up to you what you do. You have cars, helicopters, and you can choose how to approach things. You can either run and gun it, or you can try and sneak it in. So that's a bit like Far Cry, and like that way, you can like sneak behind enemies and tag them, and you can um, like like assassinate them or silence pistol them. You know things like that. Again, looks really really impressive. Another one that I might be getting. I don't know if they'll be beta or anything like that, probably not, but um, one game that I quite like the look of. So that's number, what, seven did I say? And the last of the big announcements, number eight, Watch Dogs 2. Right, they ended their, I think they, um, uh, Ubisoft ended their E3 conference with um, the announcement for Watch Dogs 2. Really excited because um, my YouTube channel kind of blew up with the first Watch Dogs. I bought it on the day of release, which was very, very, um, uh, uh, quite, uh, scary for me because um I never buy things like when they straight come out. I did. I really enjoy Watch Dogs 2. I still enjoy it today. Um again might be getting Watch I mean Watch Dogs number one, sorry. I might be getting Watch Dogs 2. That might be a thing I do but just purely because like the nostalgia. It doesn't look a massive amount different from Watch Dogs 1 though, that's one thing I will say. Um you do get drones, I think, but um I don't know I don't really know how different it's gonna be. What's the theme doing? That's the real question. Yeah, this is um this is the Dead Sec theme, I believe. Dead Sex had a makeover, like as in the organization, like the hacking world organization, I think. Um I don't really know how to describe it. It's I can't wait for it really. Um but thank you for listening to like the eight prop like massive announcements. There are other ones like um the division has had some updates and um they're giving away a free game every month, I think. I think that's something how it is. Um, there'll be smaller games, obviously, though. What do you think? What What are you most looking forward to? My top three are the Steep, uh, um, Steep Watch Dogs 2 and um, what's the other one? Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um, tell me what you think in the comments below. What are you most looking forward to, if any? Um, and if you'd like to see do, if you'd like me to do other of the big game developers like I did for this one, give me a shout. Uh, and if you want to know any of the website names, just say as well, and I'll try and remember and put them in the script and put them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Tell me what you think in the comments below, and goodbye.